Hello students, I am Jankara from Kitsika National School, Bellari. Today, I am going to take class for 8th state students, English. That is, I am going to do a lesson, 4th lesson. That is, the boy who asked for more. The boy who asked for more, it is written by Charles Dickens. Charles Dickens, he lived from 1820 to 1870. Okay. Charles Dickens is written by Charles Charles Dickens Charles Dickens he lived from 1820 to 1870 okay 1820 to 1870 so he is the greatest Victorian novelist okay during the Victorian period. He was the greatest novelist during the Victorian period and he is known for his attacks on social evils like child labor and institutional reality. So he was writing the novels. His novels consisted of the social evils which were taken place during this period and like the child labor and the institutional reality. So how people were treated cruelly. Okay, poor people were treated really, really, how the children were treated really, orphan children were treated really. So it was, he was, he had, he was throwing light on that, he was uh, criticizing on that in his novels. And his most popular work are David Copperfield, uh, to A Tale of Two Cities and Great Expectations. So these are the novels, these are the books written by Charles Dickens that are David Copperfield, A Tale of Two Cities and Great Expectations. This extract, what is that? The boy who asked for more, it is taken by one of his famous novel, famous uh, book called Oliver Twist. Okay, it is, a, it is an extract. The lesson, what is kept for you? The boy who asked for more, it is taken from Charles Dickens' book, novel called Oliver Twist. And it tells, in his book, it is about the Oliver, it is about the boy called Oliver Twist. How he was born, in which condition he was born, where he was grown up, what and all problems he faced. Okay, how he was forced in the poor house. Okay. He was born, how he was born and how, what a normal situation he faced in that poor house, you can read in this lesson. So, now I will start the lesson. The boy who asked for more. Oliver was born in the poor house of a little country town on a cold black night in the winter of 1837. So, where was Oliver born? He was born in a poor house. Okay, in a little country town. In a little town. In a small town. So, country town. Village in a small town. In the cold night. What was, how was the weather at that time when Oliver was born? The weather was cold black night. It was black night. It was the season of winter. It was the winter season. At that time Oliver was born. So he was born on 1837. Okay. The birth was attended by a doctor who was hasty called for the purpose and by an old popular woman who was experienced in such matters. So the boy, so the boy was born in that cold night. Okay. The boy was born in the cold night and so the boy and his birth was attended by the doctor. Okay, who was hasty. Hasty means urgently. As we means or gently. Okay. As we means very urgently. He was called to attend the birth and also a proper woman was there. An old 
proper woman. Proper woman was there. That is four months. So, proper woman, that means old woman was there to attend Oliver's birth. And this proper woman, she was experienced in such matters. The mother would die almost as soon as the baby took his first breath. So, as soon as baby came to this world, the mother, as soon as he took the first breath, the baby took the first breath, at that time, Oliver's mother was died. She died. She was a young, good-looking woman who had been found like laying in the street. So the woman that Oliver's mother, she was good-looking. Oliver's mother was, she was good-looking woman and also she was found laying beside the street. In the street, she was found laying in the street. It was clear that she had walked some distance before she died. So by seeing her condition, anyone can find out that the woman, she has walked so, so much of, uh, in a long distance. She has walked a long distance. Okay, she had traveled for a long distance by seeing her condition. Her shoes had been torn into pieces. So as she had walked for the long distance, so because of that, her shoe had torn down. Where she had come from or where she had been going, nobody knew. So, no one was knowing that from where that lady had come and where she was going. No one was knowing about her. The baby cried loudly. If he could have known that he was now an orphan of a poor house, it is likely that he would have cried still louder. So, the baby was crying loudly. Okay, usually when baby takes birth, they will cry louder. So baby was crying loudly. So even if that baby was knowing, okay, if the baby was knowing that he is born in a poor house and now he is an orphan. Orphan means who? What? The uh, person who does not have mother or father, who has lost the parents for that child we call as orphan. Okay, so he is an orphan. If he is knowing that he is an orphan of poor house, now he belongs to the poor house, he would have cried still more. The author is saying, if he was knowing that he is being born in this poor house, he is an orphan of poor house, so he would have cried still more. They called him Oliver Twist, a name invented by Mr. Bumble, the town beggar, because he could not think of any other. So this Oliver name, Oliver Twist, it was invented, it was created. This name was given to the child by Mr. Bumble. So this Bumble, he was a town beggar. He is an officer. Okay. Town beggar means. Peter was officer. He was an officer. This big bumble, Mr. Big Bumble, he was an officer. He was an officer. Because he named that name, that is Oliver Twist, because at that time he didn't got any other name to his mind. Mr. Bumble had full authority over the people of the poor house. So Mr. Bumble, he had the full control. Authority means full control over the people of the poor house. The poor people who were living in that poor house. Okay, he had, Mr. Bumble had total authority, full authority. Okay, he had control there. He thought himself a very great man indeed. So Bumble, he was thinking that he is a very great man. So he was thinking that, Bumble was thinking that he was a very great man. He starved and ill-treated the children under his care. So he starved, he was not giving proper food. He was keeping the children hungry. 
okay he was keeping the children hungry means starve means without food he was keeping the food he was not giving proper food for the children for people who were living in that poor house and ill treated he was treating very cruelly okay he was not looking them properly but he was treating them very cruelly a uh, children under him his care so he was not taking care of the children in a proper manner oliver's ninth birthday found him a pale thin child who had hardly known a kind word or met with a kindly look so oliver ninth birthday so when oliver turned nine so when he was nine years old so how he was how oliver was to look he was looking pale thin okay he was looking very lean pale thin child who had hardly known a kind word so he was not knowing what kind words are a uh, loving words are because in that poor house they were treating the children very badly they were using the bad uh, languages they were scolding the children so that is why this oliver he was not knowing what kind words are and even he has not met, met with a kindly look so they were not looking kind there was no uh, there was not treating, they were not treating kindly so who were living with oliver even they were treating very badly to oliver no? so there was no sympathy there was no love so oliver did not doesn't know what love is what care is his only friends were his little companions in misery so his only friends who were the friends of oliver his friends were who were who were living with him in misery even they were suffering like oliver how oliver was suffering in the same manner they were also suffering but in the end they brought them trouble they persuaded him to ask for more so but at the end the friends okay oliver's friends they over the reason to create trouble for oliver they brought trouble they created trouble for oliver and because they persuaded him to ask for more persuaded what do you think by persuaded persuaded means convince okay convincing persuaded means convince convince or do something Okay, they convinced him. They forced him. They convinced him to ask for more. Okay, it happened one evening at supper time. The children were fed in a large stone hall with a big metal basin at one end. So one evening, so something happened in this one evening. One evening at supper time, at dinner time. So all children they were fed. So where they were fed, where the children were giving the food. So they were giving food in a large hall. Okay, in a large hall and stone hall. It was made up of stone with a big metal basin. So big metal basin was there at one end. At one end of the hall, there was a big metal basin. The master stood by the basin and served each child with a small bowl of watery bread. So master, this bumble. What he was doing, the master, he was standing near that basin, and then he was serving. So he was standing there, and others were serving the food for the children in the small bowls. Okay, in a small bowls, they were giving watery gruel. Watery gruel means watery liquid food. Watery liquid food. Okay, watery gruel means a liquid food.
survive with that. So appetite means natural quantity of food. Appetite means natural craving for food. Okay. That means natural carving for food. So the boys usually they have a lot of hungry. Okay, their stomach does not fill for little food. Oliver and his companions were always hungry and never gave up enough to eat. So Oliver and his companions, companions means who were with Oliver, who were living with Oliver in that poor house, they were always in a hungry. Okay, they they were always in hungry because they were not given. Enough food to eat. They were not given proper food to eat. That evening, one of the bigger boys stated quite clearly that unless he had an extra bowl of meal, he would most certainly eat the boy who slept next to him. So that evening, what happened? One of the bigger boy who was staying with them, so he said very clearly, he said that if he does not give if he does not get extra bowl of food or extra bowl of bread what he will do he is going to eat the boy who will sleep next to him okay he clearly said that if he doesn't get extra bowl of food extra bowl of bread what will what he will do he will eat the boy who will sleep next to him he had a wide and hungry eye so the smaller boys gave him so that boy that bigger boy he had a wild okay wild and hungry eye so he was very cruel looking okay because of hunger his eyes had become very cruel okay by seeing that eyes that small boys they got afraid and they believed they thought that he is really going to eat him eat them a council was held council means meeting a council was held a meeting was held he sorry oliver twist was appointed to walk up to the master after supper and as for more so who was appointed so they held a meeting and oliver was selected to ask for more food okay he was appointed to go to the master and ask after supper after having a dinner so oliver had to go to the master and he had to ask for more food the grill was served out and was quickly swallowed so the grill was So, okay, every boy got the grill. It was served, and it was quickly swallowed because only little they will get. So they will swallow it very fast. They will eat it very fast. The boys whispered, whispered among themselves, and forced Oliver to go. So what the boys did? They whispered. They talked with each other, and they. And and they talk with each other and they forced they started to force Oliver to go and ask for more because Oliver was appointed to ask for more real. He advanced to the master, bowed in hand and said in a little frightened voice. So he advanced. Okay, he advanced means he went forward. He went near the master and he hold. He had he had holding the ball in his hand and holding the ball in his hand in a little frightened voice. So he was frightened because he will be punished, right? So he was frightened and he asked within that frightening voice. He asked, "Please, sir, I want some more." So he went near the master, holding the ball, and he asked, "Please, sir," he requested, "Please, sir, I want more food." The master was a fat, healthy man, but he turned very pale at this. What he said, as if he could not believe his ears. Please, sir, I want some more. So, 
the master he was a fat person okay the master was fat fat person and a healthy man he was very strong and healthy person but he turned very pale at this so when oliver asked for more so though he was fat he become sad some sadness angry okay came on his face what he said as if he could not believe his ears so he was not able to believe his ears so again he repeatedly asked what you said because in that poor house no child was asking for okay no child was asking for more food so this was the first time what it had happened so that is why that master he was not able to believe his ears so again he asked oliver to say what he has asked please sir i want some more so oliver again he said sir said requested please sir i want some more the master aimed a ball at his head seized him by his arms and shouted for the waiter so so the master he aimed he hit okay he took the ball at his and he hit the ball on the head of oliver and seized him and holded him holded oliver in his arms and shouted for the waiter and called for the waiter for the officer mr bumble rushed into the room in great excitement and was filled with horror when he heard of oliver's cry so when this uh, master shouted and called mr bumble so mr bumble he entered the room with a great excitement he was surprised why this fellow is shouting okay so with an excitement he came inside the room and when he came to know okay when he came to know when he heard when he came to know that oliver is asking for more food so he was horrified okay he was very much horrified ask for more it's mine i never heard of such a thing depend on it this miserable boy will be hung so mr bumble he said that ask for more he this oliver he is asking more food so he exclaimed he surprised he said and he said he also said that in this poor house in the history of this poor house i have never heard such kind of thing till now no one has asked for more food so depending on it so this boy has committed a crime so he has asked more food so this boy has committed a crime so depending on that depending on that this miserable boy this fellow this poor fellow this boy will be hung hung means he will be hung he will be put to death as a punishment for his greed and boldness oliver was immediately locked in a room to spend the night alone so as a punishment what punishment did oliver got oliver was punished for his greed greed means to ask more okay wishing for more desire for more so as a punishment for his greed and boldness without fear boldness means without getting fear saying straightly so for this boldness oliver was immediately what punishment oliver get so he was immediately locked in a room okay he was locked in a room alone that night to spend so he was he had to spend the night alone in that room early next morning a notice was pasted on the outside of the gate offering a reward of five pounds to any man or woman who would take oliver to his of the hands of the poor house so next morning okay so next morning what happened next morning a notice was pasted outside the poor house a notice was pasted okay a notice was pasted outside the gate of the poor house so in on that notice it had written that if anyone takes this oliver so offering a reward of 5 pounds so if anyone men or women if anyone 
take Oliver Twist from this poor house. So he will be awarded, that person, that man or woman will be awarded 5 pounds. So this is what happened and later on, so this is the lesson of this Oliver Twist and later on what happened, a coffin maker, coffin means the box where the you know, Christians they will make a box uh, for the dead people where they will bury, they will, they will keep the body and they will bury it. So a coffin maker, he comes, he reads the notice outside and he goes to that poor house and he uh, purchases. Okay, he gives a five pounds and he purchases Oliver from that poor house. And there also he is most treated really. That coffin, the man who makes the coffin maker, he also treated Oliver very cruelly, very badly he treated. So Oliver, he ran away. Okay, he ran away from that coffin maker's house. He runs away and he reaches London. And there also he faces a lot of difficulty. A lot of difficulties he faces. And later on, by chance, as a luck, so he meets two kind people, kind hearted people. Oliver meets two kind hearted people that is Mr. Ron Long and Mrs. and Miss Rose Bailey. Okay. So he meets this two person and they, this kind people, this uh, kind hearted people, they discover that this Oliver he is the relative of them. He is the own relative and had, he had to be protected from his stepbrother. So Oliver had a stepbrother. So they protect him from, Oliver is protected from him, from his stepbrother, Mr. Monks, uh, that is Mr. Monks, stepbrother name is Mr. Monks and Mr. Monks had planned to take away Oliver's share of property. Oliver, he had a property in his name. So, Mr. Monk, he decided to take away the property of Oliver. But Mr. Ron Laws helps Oliver to get his property back. And later on, Oliver lives happily. He lives his happy life. So, in this, we come to know that though he had suffered a lot in his life, okay, Oliver, he suffered a lot in his life, but in future, he got a happy life. So, he suffered a lot in poor house, and after that, as a punishment, as a punishment, he was sold, okay, for five pounds, he was sold to this coffin maker. There also, he suffered a lot, and then, he ran away to London. There he met Lumaire. There also he suffered. He faced so much of difficulties. Then he met two kind-hearted people, and they they come to know that he is the close relative. He is the relative of this two. He, that Oliver is the relative of them, and then he, they protect him from his stepbrother. So his stepbrother he had a plan to take away the property of Oliver. So then also these two kind hearted people help Oliver to get his rightful property back. Okay, so he gets the gets his property and he lives his life happily. Okay, from there onwards he lives his life happily. So this is about the lesson the boy who asked for more. So children, I hope you people have understood this lesson and you have understood this uh, meanings. Hasty means urgently, powerful woman means poor woman and middle means officer and persuade means to convince. Okay, persuade means to convince. Watery real means is a liquid form of food. Okay. And appetite means natural form for food. So, getting hungry, appetite. So, council means meeting. And then, so poor house, it is a building where the poor people were kept, or from orphan people were kept. And uh, the public people were, were directing 
the amount for that for house and then so excitement means feeling strong a kind of strong feeling okay so these are the meanings so i hope you people have understood this lesson and you people have understood have uh, clearly understood this meanings so thank you have a nice day